This song is from another game. Actually, this song is from a mod for a game, believe it or not. Um, it's called Foreigner in Zeal, uh, which is an interesting title. I wonder what that might be referring to. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. This uh, song is for the flooded caves, and it just sounds super wet. And where we were in Hollow Knight the last time we played uh, was a particularly wet area. So yeah, I don't know. It seemed appropriate. Um, so I, I don't know. That was the music that I chose. It, I don't know, it was, let's play some Hollow Knight. I don't know. This is a more casual stream today. I don't know what's going on. Um, we just defeated this nerd, like, on the first try, I think. Um, he even fakes you out um, with a fake end of the boss fight. But we have access now to uh, the very cool downward uh, dash ability, whatever the hell that is called. Uh, but yeah. Let's just move on. There, there are cool things we can now do that now that we have access to this. Um, so, there's going to be some stuff in this area that we can access now, and lots of stuff in other areas too. So I'm excited. I don't know where I'm going. Just wandering around. Let's see. Still haven't hit a bench. Uh, since we defeated that boss, I think since that chest was open, that indicates I've been here before, so I probably want to be going to the left. I don't know, man. Um, I started a playthrough of this game, and then I realized this was maybe not the game that I wanted to be streaming so much, but I started a playthrough of it, so now I, f I feel like I must finish it. Um, so yeah, here we are. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go down, I don't know. Is this the best way out of here? There we go. That's the ability that we unlocked last time. Oh, I'm gonna die. I did. I died to these little nerds. They're, they're called like failures or something, I don't know. Alright, well... This is where you respawn when you die, so maybe I do have to go through this area again. Let's get the shade, I guess. I hear it. I love the music. Hey, good afternoon. Thanks for coming by. Playing some more uh, Hollow Knight. Um, I died to the easiest enemies in the game, which is, of course, a tradition to do something stupid like that on stream. Um, but I was just saying, yeah, I started a playthrough of this game, and then I realized, like, there are other games that I would rather be playing on stream, because uh, this one just doesn't have as much traffic for it right now, but I now feel committed to finish it, so I will. We're going to try to clean up as much uh, of the main game content uh, today as possible, and then I can start... Um, game called Lies of P, which is uh, going to be pretty fun. I guess it's kind of like uh, Bloodborne, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but you play as Pinocchio, and it's all about like puppets integrating into like society, and most of the puppets are bad, and you're like the one good puppet, or something like that. I don't know. I have a very surface-level understanding of the story, but... Um, I am excited to uh, play the game, because I like those Dark Souls games. Am I Canadian? That, that's... I mean, the if I was your classic American, that would be like the most offensive thing you could say, huh? It's funny that your your little mod icon shows, shows up, so you're not fooling anyone uh, pretending that you don't know who I am. Ooh. I hear that little audio cue. I think that means that there's a place I can smash down through. That's cool. Nice. Found a little secret. That's fun. And it doesn't look like I can go back through this way, but there's like a lore tablet here too. I have no idea what this lore means, but... Spare thought for those consumed. Through their grace we are evolved. No plague of mine shall overcome us now. You did make me laugh, that's correct. You you have a way of doing that, you know? Completely lost. We get to show off my just... 
truly terrible navigational skills. Maybe this is the way. It's just down. No, there was nothing here. I know there was nothing here. I don't know. I will wander around confused. And it will be fine. Oh, there's a grub there that I didn't get. Oh, I... I remember. I ended the stream right here. I, we, I was standing right here, and I said, you know what? We'll start the next stream, and I'll get the grub. And then when I reset... Well, I like, closed the game. It didn't save my position. It put me back after the boss. Okay. Well, that makes some more sense. We saved the grub, and now it is time to exit the area. Which I imagine must be over here. This feels right. Okay. Though there might not be so much, like, direct traffic for this uh, game on Twitch, it does remain one of my favorites. All of the sound effects and visual effects and everything just look and feel so good. I hate this guy, though. He sucks. This enemy. Oh, I, I like, it's so hard to talk and fight these guys at the same time. Like, you teleport every time I try to hit you, that's very rude. At least they don't take that many hits. This looks like Corpse Pride. It does a little bit. I see why you would say that. There's like something with my monitor is going on, and there's like a really weird green patina over the game. This happened once when I was playing TF2, and I like rebooted my computer and it fixed it. I hope it doesn't do it all stream. I'll be a little sad. Yeah, the, I feel like the Tim Burton um, design style is very evident in this game, for sure. I'm a big fan of that design style. I mean, you know, who doesn't love Nightmare Before Christmas, at least to a little bit? Maybe, maybe it's overdone, but still, that was definitely a big part of my childhood. I think we cleaned out the Soul Sanctum, that's pretty cool. This gives us access to go and get... Oh. Go and get some very cool stuff um, from the crystal area. So I guess that should be the goal. Oops, didn't mean to come down here. I really hope I didn't break my finger yesterday, but I, I very well may have um, mentioned it on stream yesterday too, but... Um, the wind caught my garage door, and it just swung right on, on my middle finger, right behind my fingernail, and it does not feel good. But you know what? Holding the controller doesn't hurt it too bad, so, you know, not, not the end of the world, right? Okay. There's a lot of enemies in this room. Come on, come down here. I managed to make it so far without dying. My first death was to the Mantis Lords, which is like a boss relatively far in the game. And now I just... I died once and I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll just die to anything, it's fine. I'll die to the most embarrassing thing I can. Oh, the vignette that it puts on the screen when you get low health does not make it easier to... survive, I'll tell you that. Okay, barely made it... Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Like... It's... it's it hits the spot on the art styles, like, perfectly. I love the sounds, too. And the, the music, you come in the stag station, it always feels so, like, wistful and sad, because it's the, it's the last stag. He's the last of these guys. And he has something new to say. If you, if you So if you go here, you can, like, travel and stuff. But if you go here, he has something to t say. Common trip. Yeah, this was in the city. Oops, I had skipped through the second thing that he said. No, did I miss? Did we miss it? Oh, that's sad. I accidentally skipped it, because I, I was trigger happy with the button. I think if we go back to the main little town, Dirtmau, I believe uh, there will be a new shop open, and we can buy some stuff. Because I think we found our friend Sly. 
uh, last time. Oh, and we found you too. Very nice. You might have something to say. The shopkeep came home, yep. Yeah, he, he couldn't hang. <laughs> he, he went down underground and he could not hang. Uh, here he is. I want to see Sly's little face at the top of the menu. I noticed last time, whenever you open any of the uh, shopkeep's menus, their face appears at the top. I do like your cozy little store, buddy. I would love to buy some stuff. Oh yeah, and he's the one who says how to watch Geo. No, I was like, somebody says it, and his face does appear. Look at the animation when I open up the shop, and his head pops up. That's cute as hell. Well, you have a bunch of good stuff. I want the lantern, but that's expensive. Uh, the key is also good. I don't know how many of these I have, but I would like to buy the fragments too. Who cares about rancid? Just that egg? It's rancid. I don't want it. Um. Okay. Let me see. How many? How many vessel fragments do I have? How close am I to another heart? I only have one of each. Okay, the key is also worth it. I think we want to save up for the lantern, though, to be honest. Mm, this might... Do I have a free... If I have a free charm notch... I do have a free charm notch. We'll grab Gathering Swarm for 300 Geo. And this will make it so I don't have to collect the money later. And, um... I can just... Let the game collect it for me. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. I think the egg does technically have a use. Oh, this is the house of the town... Uh, the town member that we saved. Oh, and there's a mask shard in here. Okay, maybe it is worth it to buy that other mask shard then. What is this? Oh. Yikes. Yeah, this is a note about us. This game is a little weird sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skip this because it makes me feel strange. <laughs> this is like reading her diary about us. I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. The lantern gives us more access to Deep Nest. Which there's a bunch of pro progress stuff to do over there. But I think... Um... Oh, you know, and I we could go into the sewer area too. But I think I want to get the crystal dash. I think that's what I want to do. So let's... Uh, go back in the stag station. And go to the... What, what is that area called? I don't know. Crossroads? Yes. We can venture into the crystal area. Aesthetically, one of my favorite areas in the game. Crystal area is very cute. Good looking area. There's some cool bosses there too. Some of them are pretty hard. Let me see. So I think I want to go up two rooms and then to the right. So let's see if I can actually execute on that without checking the map again. I feel like I can hear the narrator in my head saying he could not. That is not the right that I want to go. It's the next one. Yeah, no, I was wrong. This is the one that I need the lantern for. Okay. Yep, I couldn't do it without checking the map. That's fine. I may not be good at navigating, but, you know, here I am. Yep, this is the way. This is the path to the crystal area. We came here at the very beginning of the game, but we did not have uh, what we needed to access it, and now we do. And I think there's lots of other goodies and stuff in this area, so... See, whenever the ground shakes like this, we can just use this slam. And it lets us right in. I don't think I can get back up there. That's fine. Just the ambient sounds of this area. It sounds so cool. I guess I need, um... The lantern for this room as well. Yeah, so our current goal is to save up. Oh, I can't even access this uh, little thing to put money in without the lantern. That's interesting. 
Well, goal is get 1800 geo while we explore this area. Killing these enemies is a decent way to do it, but you have to hit them from the front. There we go. Actually, they don't give as much money as I thought they would. I remembered them giving more. There we go. But yeah, I don't have to worry about getting it because all these little bugs will fly it to me. Which is very fun. And just for one charm notch, since I, I didn't have a charm in that slot anyway, it's worth it. Let's see, I think I want to go to the right. This room. I really like that they add little, um, like, stuff to break and environmental objects that you can interact with uh, in this game, too. I, I like that a lot. Um, it makes just, like, walking around so much fun. And this is another fun thing. When, when you get, um, these pickaxes thrown at you, you can send them back. Let's see if I can actually hit them with it, though. I was going too high most of those times. There we go. That's one. Ah! Okay, you don't want to be missing. That hurts to get hit with. <laughs> Very nice, though. Let's see. After we get the crystal dash, I think we want to go and get the double jump, huh? Just get all those movement abilities out of the way um, at once. Funny thing about these platforms, so... Well, I just got hit by it for no reason, but these platforms, you're only supposed to be able to stand on it for a certain amount of time. I didn't know if you hit it with your uh, nail after it's flipped, you can flip it over again and land on it again. So you're kind of never really in that much danger. Well, if you're not an idiot, you can always flip it back around. Oops. It does require, like, a little bit of timing. <laughs> I can't seem to demonstrate it again now, but... It's honestly not that hard to just miss anyway. Yeah, see, that's why you don't want to be buying the egg. It's pretty easy to just find it in the world anyway. I think uh, if you die and you have had a lot of geo on you when you died, uh, the egg lets you, um, like, there's an NPC that'll bring the shade back so that you can get your money back. But that's only if you, d like, that, it's not useful unless you die in a really hard spot to get to. Um, and these enemies, I remember them being annoying, but I didn't remember them being this bad. I think I can reflect those projectiles, too. Almost any projectile that's shot at you, you can reflect in this game. Any, like, solid projectile. The Aspids you can't, and they suck. I'm not gonna try to be cute with these now, this time. Oh no, I died. I don't know if I found a bench in this area. I might, we might have a long journey. Yeah. We have a long walk back to get there. The one thing about games like this that's a little annoying running back to wherever you were when you die, but hopefully I can do it relatively fast. Up through this room. Pretty glad that I decided to leave Zote behind. Um, you get the opportunity to save this NPC named Zote, but he is an absolute bastard. And if you um, save him, it makes the game harder later on. So I decided it would be in our benches. Best interest to not do that. Yeah, so I saw this the first time we walked through this area. I wondered if I would get a chance to show it off. These things always have an egg in them as well. So there we go. Another rancid egg get, <laughs> I guess. Let's see if I can get back to where we were without too much trouble. Trying to get in the habit of using the spells a little bit more, but it is kind of hard. I 
the map, but I wish I could still see where the shade is. Did I go this way? I think so. Seems right. I didn't hit the bench, though? I walked right by the bench? Hang on. So I think I can see the shade if I look at the big map. Yeah, it's in this room. What's I doing, man? It's fine. Should be able to get back to it relatively easily. I think I actually have to go left. Where is it? Was it not in this room? It's appearing like right on top of my character, I don't know. Maybe I did, I did go through this room. Yeah, it was you that killed me, wasn't it? I love projectiles flying in from off screen. That's very, very funny. The one sad thing about the ambient noise in this game is if you kill the enemies... Oh, it was these guys that killed me, okay. Okay, I got my shade back, at least. So there's my money returned. And I can get more soul again. Playing it unnecessarily safe, probably, but these guys are actually a little bit challenging. I don't remember where the crystal dash itself is in this area, so just kind of explore. It is funny that I died right past where a bench was. So the bench, the benches are um, sort of safe uh, zones in this game. And they're checkpoints, I guess, is, is the correct word. When you reach a bench, that's where you'll respawn if you die. And then I did that weird little platforming challenge as I was talking without even breaking a sweat. It's nice to see when it goes that well. It it normally doesn't. These enemies are funny. You would think that you can't kill them, but you actually can if you use your spells. But a very cool enemy design in this game. It's those little laser guys here. I guess I can show it off. I don't know if I have enough magic to do it, but... There we go. Yeah, so you can't hit them with the nail, but you can hit them with the spells. Oh no! Yep. Did that do two hearts of damage? Or two masks, I guess, would be the right term? Ooh, I see... Uh-oh. I see the little paper there, uh, which means that Cornifer is nearby. Our cartographer friend. If I find Cornifer, that means I can get the map. I don't think he's this way, though. That doesn't look like something I want to tussle with. Oh no. Okay, we're on relatively low health. Oh no, it doesn't do two masks. That's good. So it would have killed me. And there we go. We did die again. Very cleverly. But at least I caught the bench and didn't just walk past it this time. Through. I don't think it was this way, was it? Hmm. I don't think it was this way. I don't know. I'm just exploring. Nice, we got four viewers. How's everyone doing? I've been having a good time streaming. I've been doing this for a couple weeks now. I'm getting into the groove of it a little bit. Um, although it does get a little hard to do uh, some of the like complex platforming stuff and talk at the same time. You, I can't get to yet. Yeah, it was through this room. It's definitely worth using the spells on these guys. They suck. Okay, this is definitely the path I was going before, so that's good. Yeah, these laser guys. A little 
challenging, but it's not too bad if you're just clever with your timing, which of course I'm not usually, but... Dealing with the miners a little bit more effectively this time. Oh, I like leapt through that laser somehow and didn't get hit. I will not complain. Oh! Again, very nearly got hit. I think the shade can actually, uh, the more health you get, the more health the shade gets, and the more spells you unlock, uh, the more, um, spells, like, your shade can use the spells that you have unlocked, so I'm, this is super inarticulate today, but, you know. Yeah, there is something all the way at the top of the mountain, I remember that. That would be fun to go and get. Give me that map. Nice. So, here to the left, there's this big area with spikes that we can't cross, but once we get the the main item from this area, we'll be able to uh, cross those. And I think it's up from here. They usually lead you, t like, past where the map is uh, to get whatever you're looking for in an area. These enemies are funny. You can't hit them sometimes. You can have to... Make sure, cause if you get too close, you can't hit them, so you have to, you have to stay far away. And the charm I have equipped that increases our uh, range really helps with them as well. I think there's a boss guarding this bench, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you see that little spike right there? Yeah, there's a boss on the bench. I, I bet you I can do it. This guy's not too hard. Crystal Guardian. I need to not just, like, carelessly get hit to the laser. Oh, just like that. Okay. I should get a small opportunity to heal here. Nice, I actually got three heals off. Okay, so the laser does always, like, spawn on my location, so I need to be careful about that. Let's use that new spell that we got. It actually does really good damage, too. There we go! Crystal Loser defeated. For now. Notice how he jumped up. That might mean that there is an additional encounter, perhaps? Oh look, we can't go any further this way. I wonder what that means. So if I get the double jump and come back, we'll, we'll see something there later. But having that bench activated is real nice. I just opened a shortcut from an area. I don't even know where this is. Oh, this looks important. That looks like the place the Crystal Dash could be located in. Hmm. I don't know how to unlock it, though. I guess I'll go around? Maybe this way? More stuff I haven't unlocked yet. I guess I should probably look at the map. Make it a little easier to tell. I think the place we want to go is over to the right here. Oh god, this room. I remember having an embarrassing amount of trouble when I did this room off stream. So I don't even want to know how it's going to go on stream. Okay, I'm going to have to be pretty quiet to focus on this. Oh, that was a bit close. That was dumb. Okay, here we go. Two, three, go! Okay, I made it through the first section at least. I don't know what's down from here. Oh, a shortcut! Okay, that's nice. Oh, we saw this guy before from the other side. That's always satisfying, unlocking the shortcuts. Oh, and now it's on a conveyor too. Game. Ugh. That's much harder than it looks. Made it through. I didn't think I even got crushed by any of those a single time. I will take it. That looked like a big mechanism that I just opened, whatever it was. I hope that unlocked the way to the crystal dash. Gets me in here. You know what? I will... I will get rid of these laser guys, too. I was gonna try to hit them both. 
at once. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of these minor enemies. Only need to hit him three times, though. Just unlocking all the shortcuts. The worm looks juicy, right? They they look so tasty. Well, we'll we'll see something funny with that later on. Maybe we can um, visit the. Maybe we can visit the worm. Oh, so it didn't unlock this door. Funnily enough, let's see. Hmm. Maybe if we keep going down through this room. I think there is another thing to do, so... A necessary thing to progress through the area. No, I'm not sure. So yeah, if I go to the right... In this room, I think that's progress. You guys suck. Okay, yeah, this is the exit I wanted to do. Oh, this is another dark room. Okay, this is actually definitely not the way to go. We, I have enough Geo for this now. That's funny. This always happens. So I have enough Geo. I have money. I could go buy the... Um, I could go buy the lamp uh, that would help me be able to see through that. Uh, the only problem is I don't... Um, I would have to re-progress through this whole area to do it. I don't think it's worth it. I, I would like to get the dash first, I guess. So let's keep going here. I'm just going to run past these enemies because they scare me. At least I can go up this way now. Nice little shortcut. I like that the shortcuts aren't just like aesthetic, like they're there and you'll never use them. They're like actually useful in this game, which is just good design on top of good design. I guess I want to go to the right from the bench, which was up, I think. Man, these enemies are tough. At least there's this soul thing here so I can heal up. quiet down to deal with them, but I managed to. I don't think I even needed to fight them at all. I could have just ran right past. Hey, not my first playthrough, unfortunately. I played this game years ago, but it has uh, been a little while. So, um, oh, I think this was the path that that big thing unlocked. No, it didn't. Huh. Hey, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. It's been a while. I guess I'll carry on to the left from here. Yeah, I got uh, this game for free on like the PlayStation membership ages ago. And I played through it on that and um, I was really struck by how good of a game this was to get for free. Because um, usually the stuff that you get, my percent was... Uh, I did literally everything. I, I beat Nightmare King Grimm. Um, I just, I didn't do, I got stuck on Pantheon 3, I want to say, the one with Zot in it, because Zot sucks, and I hate him. Um, I, I never did Pantheon 5, because that, you, I, I, I like difficult stuff in games. That was a little too far for my taste, to be honest. Oh, I think this is... Yeah, this is where I actually want to go. I, I, like, wasn't paying attention and I happened to make my way here. We get to see Quirrell again. You really get a pretty good view of the thing on his head. <laughs> uh, from here. He, he said we're intimidating, but, but we're short. He just called us a manlet. Say that to my face, Quirrell. <laughs> I never know what any of the NPCs mean when they're talking in this game, but it's always nice to say hi to Quirrell. Uh, can't go up through there, so we'll just keep going. Um, yeah, but I, I did leave Zote behind. I, I abandoned Zote fully. 
I bet you there's... I know there's a speedrun skip you can do to get up there, but... I'll just do it once I have the double jump, I guess. I think I need to fight you at all. I'll just give you some of those for fun. Um... I was kind of mind blown when I found out that you can just use your spells and kill these um, guys. Like, just wow, that makes it so much easier. And that's just a journal, huh? Well, that's fine. I'm pretty short in real life. That's big words. Big words from the mod. I've only made one mod so far, so. 107? Yeah, I think I was at like 111% or something. 112 is like full completion and I, I was like one away from doing it. So I can't access that stuff yet, can I? Maybe... Ah, I was gonna say maybe I, there's something I can smash through here. There we go. Oh, these guys are gonna kill me though, aren't they? I don't like my odds. Okay, now that it's one, maybe? Oh, there we go. Reflecting the projectile definitely helps. Right? It's crazy. I, I struggled with them a lot my first time through. It is wild to me how good some people get at this game too. Like I think I did attempt the Path of Pain. Uh, when I played this game the first time, there's like a really crazy platforming section at the end of the game. It's like an homage to um, older games that had crazy platforming stuff. But it's just like, I, I don't know, I have no interest in... Maybe I'll try it on stream, we'll see. That kind of stuff can get a, a little silly. Yeah, you did it. Oh, here we go. Here's this shortcut. And this big bug here is a pretty good indication. It actually, you know what this looks like? This is super reminds me of Big Weld from Robots, the, the old like DreamWorks movie. You enjoyed it better than a lot of the actual fights? The, the boss fights are so good. Yeah, that's super Big Weld coded. <laughs> that's so funny. I love that. Um, that movie was really funny. I remember going there's no way that the, the like, side character in this game is, um, or in this movie, cut game, in this movie is actually Robin Williams, but it was. One of Robin Williams' kind of dumber roles, I guess, but, um, I knew there was a thing I could stand on down here. It is quite nice to not have to worry about picking up the money. It kind of takes a little bit of the stress away. The platforming sections in this game are super fun. I I will concede to that. Just, they hit all of it. The Watcher Knights? I, I struggled hard with the Watcher Knights. I, yeah, they suck. Um, who did I, th there was, who's the boss? Uh, like the, the fourth mantis? I can't remember what it's called, but it's called like the Traitor Knight or something, or the Traitor Lord? Traitor Lord, that's definitely it. Um, how do I get through here? Okay, I guess I just take damage. I can just damage through it. Uh, the Traitor Lord threw me for a loop, for sure. Um, who else? The Some of the dream fights were really hard. Um... The, like, Corrupted Vessel or something? Is, is that what it's called? Not the, like, Nosk boss, but... Oh, shit. Um... Yeah, Corrupted Vessel, I think it was called, or something like that. The... It's it's down... You find it in Deep Nest. Um, and then when you bring the Dream Nail... You know what I should get is the Dream Nail. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die here. Okay, time to focus up. This vignette does not make it easier to not get hit. Okay, nice. No, I really didn't think I hit that. Funny thing is I'm like, I'm worse at platforming than I am at fighting the bosses most of the time. This playthrough, I, I've beat most of the bosses on the first try. 
The Mantis Lords, and my first death was to the Mantis Lords as well. Um, so I, I was like, you know what, that's not that bad. To die to that first, no, I knew I wanted to go down from here. My navigation is so bad, I just looked at the map and then went the wrong way immediately. At least they make it pretty obvious. Oh, there's a funny little face here. You see the, the face just above my character? On this board? This drawing is so cute. Oh man, I can't wait for the... The Radiant? Uh, yeah, being honest, um... I found the Radiant to kind of not be fun to fight. I know that's like... Maybe controversial. Um... I didn't like that fight at all. Uh, the last time I played this game, I I gave up. Um, the last phase of the Radiant was really annoying for me. Um, but like, I really liked Nightmare King Grimm. I felt like that boss was a really good, um, just well-designed fight in comparison. Precise platformer is your thing. Well, that's cool. I, there's lots of that stuff out there, so... I am much more of a, like, um, learning boss fights kind of thing. That's one of my favorite things in games. Big fan of the Dark Souls games and all of that stuff for that reason. That's one of the things that I like about this game. Okay, let's not mess this up this time. I am carrying 2000 Geo. Wow, I don't know how I didn't get hit by that laser, but I will take it. Oh, the Radiant fights? Oh, the ones where you, like, can't get hit at all? Not Radiance, but the Radiant fights. Okay. Yeah, um... I was not, um... I don't think I did all of those. I think I did some of them. So here we speak to Big Weld. And we get the Crystal Heart. Oh, Radiant Markoth is an asshole. Yeah, I know that. From, like, watching uh, streamers and stuff. That guy sucks. Um, but yeah, the Crystal Dash allows us to do this. We can cross big giant areas uh, just for free. And now we'll notice anywhere where there's, like, a big long room with spikes, uh, we can very easily cross them. There's some stuff in Green Path uh, that we can easily get through as well. And I want to say there's something that we can access now from the crossroads as well. I don't remember. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to just stop me in my tracks. That was pretty funny. Oh, did this turn back on or is this a different room? Have I not been through this room? Oh, I haven't. Okay, well... I don't know what the point of the lower level is, I guess I'll try it. Oh, it's just a way out of the room? I see. Oh, Celesta... Chapter 9. I don't remember which... You'll have to enlighten me which one that is. Is that the, like, special level at the very end of the game? I got almost to the end of Celeste, and I never finished it um, in my casual playthrough. Um, it, it also got to the point that was just, like, a little too much for me. You know what it was? What stopped me was the, like, seaside... The one where it's like hot and cold. The hot and cold level of Celeste messed me up, man. I don't know uh, why it was too hard for me, but it was. Just like the very end, I got stuck. Okay, so where do I want to go? I think to the left there's cool stuff and... To... Yeah. Let's do that. And I could also go down in the world as well. I think. If I want to head towards where the double jump item is. Okay, listen to you. Damn. 
The last screen took you two hours? Yeah, that's the point where it's just like a little too much for me. Like, I like a challenge, but that's the point of like obscenity, you know? Oh, Farewell. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I, I played like half of Farewell, I think. Um, I got to the point where there's like the fish that you, that like swap directions or something. Um, and I liked Farewell actually a lot more than like some of the, some of the seasides. Chapter 8. Yeah, I hated the seaside for Chapter 8. It was not fun. Um... I know these enemies are not that hard, but I'm really struggling with them today. Yeah, Chapter 9 is, is something else. I, I found it more fun than Chapter 8, um, but the summit was my favorite level in that game, for sure. It was just so much fun. Where, where can I go? Okay. I can buy the uh, Lumafly Lantern, and we can get some more abilities here. Well, we can venture into Deep Nest if we want. I guess I could fight the Watcher Knights, but I'm not nearly brave enough for that today. Oh man, yeah, Jump King is messed up. Um, I... I don't think I would ever play Jump King. I would consider getting over it. As those, like, streamer games, haha. <laughs> But, I don't know if I would do Jump King. That one's like a little bit too much for me. 28 total hours. That's not... so terrible, but... It depends like, how much actual gameplay that was. Like, 28 hours could be really bad if the levels are short. I don't know. But like, in good games with lots of content, I, I've put many, many hours in over the years, so. Was there a path down from here? Hi. I'm trying to reflect these guys' projectiles, but I just keep screwing it up. And I did it that time. Jump King is actually really good. I, um... Oh, you! The fake grub! Ah! I was not ready. Oh, man. I'm, like, trying to read your chat messages. <laughs> the bastard grub killed me. Okay. Yeah, I guess I would consider playing that then. I, I do like me some hard platformers. Super Meat Boy is one of my favorites. Um, but I will say also like, uh, like Bandage World or whatever at the end is messed up, man. Those levels are kind of stupid. Especially like the Dark, the Dark World, uh, Bandage, Dark World Bandage World is messed up. Um, what other, like, difficult- I've played some other difficult platformers, I'm trying to remember. I did- I died to the fake grub, dude. When I was reading chat, that's like- that's gotta be, like, classic stream- streamer activity. Okay. This time, I will live, hopefully. But I do have to survive... The fake grub, and... My shade, and these- Oh man, you have a lot of health, fake grub. Where's the shade? Is it in the room with those enemies over there? I hope not. I really didn't want to fight them all at once. I can hear it. Oh, it is. Okay, shade down, that's good. We get our money back. Oh, and I lured those guys in, too. Okay. Situation handled. 
All right, let's get out of this area before I die again. Oh. I, I completely forgot the fake grubs were in here. And this is a shortcut back to uh, the first area in the game. I was saying my first stream of this game that um, they really nail the uh, like shortcuts in a way that the only other game that really nails it to that degree is, I guess, Dark Souls 1? It's just super, super good. Okay, and I think I have enough for the mask shard, so I'll take it. As soon as I can get another uh, mask, I would like to. It's going to make the Watcher Knights easier. Uh, it's going to make some of the upcoming stuff a little easier. Now that I have the lantern, you know what I want to do is the dark room in uh, Crossroads. So I guess we'll do that. And we can do the Moloch, too. I think I know where that uh, guy is. I love that you have to actually hit the bell to travel, too. They just... They thought of so much when they were making this game. And, and I feel like that's why Silk Song is taking so long, too. Just, like, the secrets and hidden touches and stuff. That that stuff must take so long. Yeah, a brand new playthrough. It depends how long it's been since you've played the game. Oh, no, the dark room was up from here, wasn't it? Oh, but that's also just a path into the ca crystal caves? It's kind of lame, if so. It certainly looks like it. I guess we can just head over to um, the Moloch then. Yeah, this is... No, it isn't. What am I doing? It's up, one up from here. It's been a while, yeah. Then it might be worth it. There's always so many games to play. I think after um, I beat Hollow Knight, I'm going to try to beat it uh, in the next couple streams. Um, I'm not going to do like 112%, I think. Sure, I'll give 50 Geo. I know this is literally just another way into the area that we were just in, but... You know, may as well. I'm excited for Liza P, though. It's been a while since I've played, like, a new Souls-like game. Um, so I'm excited. And the Elden Ring DLC is uh, slated to come out soon. So that's on my list as well. I guess this was just this, huh? Okay. Um, well, we'll go back the other way. Twenty-eighth of February, huh? That was a long time ago. So many paths in this game, I can never quite exactly where I'm trying to go. But I, it's funny. I feel like I I know certain maps and video games better than I know like the area where I live sometimes, which is a little stupid. Thought it was sooner. Wait, I'm not sure uh, I know what you're referencing about what was sooner. Like, you thought it was more recent that you had played through the game last time? Let's see. I think the Moloch comes off this room? It's the lower exit on the left side, okay. Not this. Yeah, down further. Here we go. I like that the Gathering Swarm lets you get Geo that you wouldn't be able to get because uh, it's stuck in spikes and stuff. That's definitely a nice touch. 
I might just die to this boss. There's a very decent chance that I do. Um, if so, kind of whatever. You want me to look down? It's probably a good idea, huh? So we see the, um, they do a really good job sort of giving you a uh, lead up to where we're going. All these um, dead bugs that you see here are foreshadowing for the boss we're going to encounter. Yeah, you thought it'd be more recent. Uh, sometimes, like, I realized it had been, like, years since I'd played this game, and I was like, damn, and I never paid for it, so I was like, you know what, I should buy it on PC, because it's 15 bucks, and the devs deserve it. Th these are some of the most dedicated developers I've ever seen. So, roguelikes, yeah, I, um, I have a love-hate relationship with those games. Is the boss just gonna appear right here? Um, I have like all of the achievements uh, in Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. There's the boss. I see you glowing in the background. I'll say my little diatribe first. Um, yeah, so I, I love Isaac. I've been playing that game since uh, Rebirth launched in like 2013 or 2014 or whatever. Um, but man, does it feel bad to like be playing a run for 40 minutes and then die. The game that that was the the worst for me was um, Dead Cells. I really like hard games, but uh, BC5, Boss Cell 5, you, you beat the game like five times, and then eventually it gets harder each time. Eventually it just gets so hard that it's like, okay, even if I like claw my way to the end and then I die, it'll take me like an hour. Um, I haven't played Hades. Uh, it's a little, I don't know, it's like a little more anime in design. Yeah, Malik's scary. I'm I'm genuinely afraid. I need to make sure that I um I'm careful with my dash in this fight. Let me see. What other uh roguelikes? Oh, Nuclear Throne. Obviously, Nuclear Throne is one of my favorite games of all time. Um I feel like it didn't get the attention that it deserved when it was like fresh and stuff, and now it's kind of like stale. The people who knew about that game knew about it a long time ago. There's not that much of an active community anymore. But I do stream it sometimes, and that game is awesome. It feels a little less bad to die in that game because of how easy it is to, like, get started in a run. Oh, see, that was what I was saying. Be careful with the dash. Okay. This boss is probably gonna kill me. Oh, okay. Run away, heal. Just one. If I tried to heal twice there, I would've got hit. Dodge over top, nice. That little swipe from the side, I'm quite lucky I haven't been hit by it yet. I think it's actually technically possible to fight this boss without the dash. You have to be insane though. Oh no. Oh, done. Okay. Did Pizza Tower, there's like so, I have the game. I even plan to stream it at some point. Oh, nice, and we're gonna get a full mask for this. Um, there's so goddamn much on screen <laughs> in Pizza Tower. It's like a WarioWare, like, I guess you could call it, right? There's so much on screen, it like, I, I can't tell what the hell is going on, man. And um, th th I have like a funny personal story with the first like thing I ever saw about that game. Um, Slice and dice? Oh nice, seven dollars on each, that's not bad at all. So the Moloch is handled, that's pretty nice. I bet you there's stuff I could do in green path? Um... You know what, I think I want to do... Sewers. Yeah, died a couple times, I imagine. It's pretty easy to just get back up to Dirtmouth from here, isn't it? Um, I think I make the mistake of going all the way to the Stag Station for no reason, when it can be easier to just exit Dirtmouth this way. But I think this path like gets closed off later in the game, so... May as well take advantage of it while it's still here. Oh, I guess we should visit the Grub Father. Somebody mentioned in chat earlier um, how, like, yummy the grubs look. Which is very funny, uh, for those of us who know, uh, what happens with the grubs. 
Uh, I think that's the top left exit in this room. Let's see. Yeah, he's up here. A couple, yeah. <laughs> and these guys will actually give us money. Uh, for saving them, so that's nice. And what else? Oh, is that a mask shard? Sure. Yeah, I'll take another one of those. This is gonna help us get some more health. It's funny, this is one of the few situations that the Gathering Swarm doesn't um, give us... Does, or doesn't pick up the money for you. When you do the Colosseum of Fools, and when you do this, come and get money from these guys. They let you pick it up on your own. And you can see them in the background here as well, and in the foreground. If you get all of them, uh, the grubs look so yummy that Grubfather has something to say. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Um. Oh, wait, there's there's a secret in this room, isn't there? Yeah. You can see this kind of, like, light beam coming down in the crack here. Where does this take me? Ah, it's just money, huh? So this should give us uh, access to buy some more stuff from Sly in Dirtmouth. Oh, and it's a uh, one of these dream nail things. I can't decide what I want to do every time. I think the smartest thing to do would be to go and get the dream nail now. Oh, there's no way I could have known you were there. Um, but my my memory of how to get to the dream nail is very foggy. Uh, I think it must be through the sewers. I think that must be the way. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I think I want to... I Because I have a simple key, if I remember correctly. I do have a simple key. So I think I want to go to the sewers. Patamas, Jill! Since I did get another mask shirt, I'll keep buying these. In theory, the more health I have, the less I'll die, but that's not actually how that ends up shaking out. I guess I'll get the Vessel Fragment, too, so we can get some more soul. We're pretty close to a full vessel here. Uh, and we can get three additional vessels, which is cool. Doubles your, your total soul. Uh capacity. Let's see. We will... I think I have to go to the City of Tears, the City storerooms. Because oh. that must be the best stag station here. I am kind of skipping a lot of stuff. Uh, there's, there's way more exploration that I can do. Yeah, I just bought some other games that are on sale, too. I heard Wizard of Legend uh, is really good. A friend recommended that to me, so I... That game's on sale for, like, $3 right now. I was like, wow, there's no reason not to. Uh, what else? Yeah. I have plans to do uh, maybe Mario Wonder 2 at some point on stream. That could be fun. Just, like, for one stream. And I heard about there's this game that's like chess, but a fighting game. I saw Northern Lion playing that on stream the other day, and I was like, that's weird as hell. I suck at chess so bad that that might just be like funny to play on stream. Um, I think the path to the sewers is over by that little shop icon to the right, so we can just crystal dash through this room. Nice, I'll check it out. Um, always appreciate getting um, game wrecks from chat. Uh, that's always cool. Get down from here, I think. Nice. I was so bad at using the spells uh, the first time I played through this game. It really is. Um, like, they don't seem like they do that much damage. Uh, chess fighting game? Uh, it was a 2D fighting game. 
where like so when when the pieces like challenge each other you end up in like a, a fight with and like the different pieces are like different fighting game characters I guess I could try to go and find out what it's called if if you're that interested um but that looks like it could be fun here let's uh use the simple key and we're down here in the sewers oh, we can see our, the little lantern uh, poking out on our belt as well that's cute The enemy design is so varied in this game, too. I like it a lot. What are you doing? Come on, get out of here. Nice. I don't think we would be able to see in this room, but we have the, um... Lantern, so that helps. Oh, it's you! That's the law. Okay, Tuck. I think if you buy food, it's just an egg. Yeah, you keep your egg. I'm good without it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I did read your explanation. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you meant um what I was talking about with the chess game. Not. Yeah, I, I tried to read the explanation, but I am also playing a game. I Since um there's like not that many people in chat, it should be pretty easy to um go back and read it after the stream. Um, but I am always interested in hearing about cool games uh, that are like games that I play, so. Can I touch this water? Can. It's just the acid that I can't touch. I want to say the, like, the tier item that makes it so that you don't um, take damage from the acid is in this area. These enemies are so funny. You hit them and they change mode. They have one mode that walks and one that jumps and they like flip over based on which mode they're in. It's just such a clever little design. Like they're not hard or anything. They're just cute. You know, I would like to fight Dung Defender while I'm down here. This game is all about bugs and one of the bosses is a freaking Dung Beetle and I love it. The flying monster in the sewers? Do I remember which one that is? Oh god, I have to sneeze! Uh. You talking about flute mark? The one that spits out the other part flies around. I think that's flute mark that you're talking about? I don't know. These guys suck though, I'll tell you that. They break into like two halves, and then yeah, you have to fight them each separately. I think I can get back on the other side. Isma's. Oh, okay. I guess I should use my spells, huh? Oh, didn't take damage from that. That was nice. All oh, right, I don't have the map for this area yet. I forgot. Always satisfying to kill those enemies. Is this a path back up out of the sewers? Oh, this is the path that I went in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That enemy is distinctively not cute, you're right. Okay, yeah, this is the way that I came when I first entered this area. Oh god, I don't know why I didn't think that one was going to inflate. Oh, I didn't think that was going to hit me. I thought I was just barely out of range. I don't remember the path to Dung Defender. That's messed up. Will it show the bench that I found even? No, it won't. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh god. These guys are... Yeah. Is that the flying enemy that you were talking about? Because I hate them. Oh, this is surely the path to Dumb Defender. Oh, doma, doma, doma! I love this guy. He's so cute. And just friendly. The lore for this character is funny, too. It's like voices that I would make. I was trying to do funny voices. Where is he? There he is. I think I can actually knock him out of the ground, too. Yep. Maybe it's a little rude to do that before the fight. Doma, doma, doma. This game is so charming, man. I love it. Can I? I can bounce you around when you do that, can I? I think I can. Yep. Oh man, I gotta be careful when he goes in the ground there. I keep getting hit. I don't know if I can knock the poop around or not. Nice. It would be funny if I didn't die to like the last two or three bosses that I fought and then I died to freaking Dumb Defender. He's not hard at all. Man, that was scary. Okay, phase two, huh? Yeah, I can just knock you out of that every time you go underground. It kind of counters that completely. You must be close to dead. Yeah, I know that there's like a speedrun trick where you can, um... Uh, keep him in the air, right? Yeah, the, the music is so good, too. I didn't even point that out. Thank you for mentioning. It's like, you're right, it's heroic. That's exactly the word to use. Yeah, let's see if I can keep him in the- oh, wow, that was the last hit. I was gonna say, let's see if I can keep him in the air this time. I guess not. Well, that's another first try on a boss. I will say, once you get the fundamentals down for this game, it, um, becomes a lot easier. Oh, and this is just Yzma's Tear, isn't it? Or something? It... it... I don't remember what this does. It's, yeah, so I, I've played this game before, but when I did it was on PlayStation, I think I said, so I, when I bought it on Steam, I have all these achievements to get again, which is pretty funny. Oh no, don't just fall in this room. <laughs> I don't know why I have the habit. Yeah, so I, I bought it for Steam, yeah, that's correct. I have the habit of like when I'm falling, like panic moving left and right, and I end up just dodging all the platforms. And it's really stupid, but I do it anyway. So we can get back up in the city uh, from here. So let's do that. Right? These soldier guys, the flying soldier guys always get me. Yeah, achievement hunting is fun. I um. Oh right, and this is the path down to the uh, double jump too. So let's let's unlock the other half of the city of tears. There's so much... Unlocking the sewers just gets you access to so much stuff. I love these, like, fat official uh, enemies, too. All the, like, rich asshole <laughs> bugs that are, like, living in the city. Very reminiscent of the uh, guys in the capital in, um... Uh, what is it? The Hunger Games. Reminds me of that very much. The like silly hair and they're cowards, they just run away. The area right of above the abyss? Ancient Basin? Is it Ancient Basin? It might be, it might not be, I don't know. 
Oh, the golden bug. I, f I forget that that's there. Is that like in this little area? Or is there like a- there's a secret somewhere. Do I have to like- no, it's not there. It's like the one trivia question that I was able to pull out. If you asked me anything else, I would have been like, I have no idea. Is it this room? Is there like something I can do for- yeah. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Huh. Where is the gold bug? Did I just miss it? At the right of the area city of tears. Uh huh? Is it in this room or back the other way? I don't know. Oh, I know. It's so in this big area, there's like platforms I can go on, right? Am I, am I remembering this correctly? Like there's a platform somewhere? No? Maybe I'm thinking of a different room. It, it, it must be in a room to the right. Yeah, I think it's it's past this, actually. Yeah, it's in this room. Okay, I was like, why can't I find it? These guys are, like, almost not worth fighting, it feels like sometimes. Do I need a gold key to access this? Or, not a gold key, a simple key to access this? I'll fight one of them. Oh, damn. It's hard to, like, talk and fight these guys at the same time. They hit you for a lot. Come on. Come over here. Thought he was gonna swing up that time. He didn't. Now he swings up. You suck, dude. Like, how much health do you have to have? See, if you space it right, you can kind of get three hits off. But it's hard, because he just keeps walking closer to me. I want Quick Slash. I don't know where that is. Come on, dude, die. Oh yeah, there we go. Just get a haircut. Oh, okay. I, I feel like they're designed to sh kind of show you how effective your nail upgrades are. And for that reason, I understand it. This is the one that needs the simple key. Is, is that the room that the golden guy is in? Because if so, I don't think I can access it. It might be this room, though. There's a stag station here, right, I forgot. I feel like I should have done this as soon as I got my first simple key, but it's fine. Unlock these shortcuts. I'm just gonna skip you. That took me too long to fight the other one. Oh, this is King Station, right. Should have remembered. I think there's a, like, yeah, I was gonna say, I think this secret is, like, weirdly simple. You just can't open that door, I don't think. The bench is broken, I forgot. Oh right, because so the station got built down here, and then they rebuilt it above. I think I have access to the next area too. There we go. Yeah, farming the charms, that's true. Because you need a lot of money for them. Wow, this one you need a lot to get the, the stag station back up and running, huh? I don't know 
if we need to call the stag. I think I want to... We, we defeated Dung Defender. I think I want to go back down and just towards the sewer area and just see what's... see what I can find, see what's up over there. I, I, I think the Dream Nail is actually like shockingly close by. Maybe I should do that. I, the most indecisive person ever. Um, you can actually go under here. And there's these enemies. Nice, getting a little better at, at that spacing so that I don't get hit by those guys. The only reason it works is because I have um, Mark of Pride on, which gives you a bunch more range. I don't think I can do whatever this is. I remember this being like, I need a key. Yeah, this is like a one-way thing that you get from another side. We could we could go into the B zone from here, I think. That could be fun. I feel like I have enough health and stuff to justify that. I love these enemies. They're just so plump. We're here in Kingdom's Edge. I think the map for this area is really not hard to get. It's just up, right? Oh no, this is this. The map is hard to- I, I had it backwards. The map for this area is distinctively hard to get. Because you gotta go up through this whole thing. And I love that you see uh, guys from the Colosseum falling down in this area. There's some really funny NPCs here too. Oh, I can't go there yet. <laughs> That's acid. Okay. So yeah, we could go get Yzma's tier. I guess that is in the... Um, that's what lets me swim in the acid, by the way, Eastmas Tear. Uh, that's in the sewers where I just was. Some of my favorite enemies are in this zone, and some of my least favorite enemies are in this zone. I'll tell you that. Where is the the entrance to the B area is like somewhere dumb, isn't it? Oh, corner first just down here? I don't remember. I remembered him being off the main room here. Is it right that- oh, I just missed. I think it is right here. I heard him humming. The Luigi's Mansion music, as he always does. Yeah, where are you, buddy? There. Okay. Give me your map. Please tell me I have enough money for it. This is a cozy hole. Perfect. Nice, and we're filling out that map too. You can kind of get an idea of the scope of the game. Um, I don't think I want to do any Colosseum related stuff from here. Am I tripping that the path to the Dream Nail is close from here? I don't know. I can't remember. Well, we got the map for this area. Maybe maybe we'll just move on. The B area... I thought it was... Maybe I go to the right? Can never remember. I love yeah, Cornifer's humming is one of the just best parts about this game. They really nail the little tiny details like that. Yeah, right? It's just some every, for every little sound I always like to think about somebody sitting in a recording studio. There was that video on, on TikTok that, like, it's, it's funny, and an opportunity to talk about um, TikTok escape velocity, but um, there's this concept with TikTok where, like, I, I don't want to have to have a TikTok account. I made one for the streaming thing so that I can, like, promote the streaming, but um, I'm not going to use it, like, as a consumer. I hate TikTok. 
But whenever something on TikTok is funny enough to escape TikTok and exit into other social media so that I see it, I'm I'm always happy. Like, if something's funny enough to leave TikTok, I will see it. Um, and the example of that was um, the guy was like, hey, "You ever surprised by?" Uh, like, one person who does two very different things, and the example that he gave was, um, uh, the Christmas song Santa Baby, the, like, classic old rendition of it, is sung by the same lady who voices, uh, Yzma, the, like, villain in, uh, The Emperor's New Groove, which is so crazy to me, because, I mean, I grew up watching that movie, that movie's so dumb and funny, I love it, and that's such an iconic villain character, it's really funny for me to find out that that's like, I already have like such a adversarial relationship with the Christmas holiday in general. It's just really funny that like the villain from one of my favorite movies as a kid sings that. But yeah, that video managed to ma escape TikTok and, and I saw it. Um, but yeah. I think you can crystal dash through that from somewhere. I guess we're headed to Ancient Basin, huh? Um, because that's where we are. There's another, like, dream root thing there, but I can't access it. I don't think I need the dream nail to get the double jump. I don't remember, though. Is there a secret under here? Oh, it certainly looks like there is. Let's see if I can do this. Nice. It's just a wanderer's journal. But that's a cool little secret to find. I was like, hmm, I wonder if you can go under there. You could probably pogo along the spikes as well, but I used the crystal dash for that one. Sometimes you just know, you know? You don't need instructions for something like that. It is funny that your your name has a little mod icon next to it. That will make me laugh every time. It's like something tells me you're not actually going to be doing much moderating. Did you... No, don't charge me here. I'm... These enemies are relentless. Unrelenting. Okay. They relented. But it's, it's good to have at least three viewers in here. That's good for my analytics, because um, if I can pull my average viewership up to three and get 50 followers, then I can um, apply for affiliate, which would be really sick. Oh. Hopefully I can get this Twitch thing going. I feel like I'd be good at it once I get really in the habit of streaming all the time and stuff, but it still feels very strange. I do feel like I'm sitting in my room talking to myself. I don't have the tram pass, so this isn't going to help us a whole lot. Oh, that's, that's how you get to the B zone. I remember now. You use the tram pass from here and you go to the right. Getting super down in the world now. This is the fountain that you have to put like thousands of geo. Yeah, it's not like technically sitting and talking to my myself, but it's it sure feels like it sometimes. Um, it's not like I'm like recording videos for YouTube. That's when it really does. Uh, like that. But, oh, I need the double jump to get that, which I think I actually have the ability to get here. I think what you need is the crystal dash. Yeah, I'll take a bench here. Why not? Best animation in the game coming up. Watch this bench unfold. Oh! Just love it. Yeah, I've been streaming for nearly three weeks now. Um, and it's... It's weird, like, sometimes I have, like, six or seven people in here, and, um, like, it's it's really fun and stuff. Oh, nice, we've been streaming about the same amount of time. Um, 
And other times it's just literally no one here just screaming into the void. Let's hope I don't um, die to this boss. Is this Nosk? I can't remember. I don't think it is Nosk. I think Nosk is in Deep Nest. I love these little guys. Killing one of them adds a note in our journal about it. I like the stag uh, station setup in this game, but I think it would be cool if um, you could teleport to every bench, to be honest. I feel like that would be nice. Hard to dodge all of the spit from those guys. Very similar to the boss that we fought earlier this stream. When do I usually start streaming? Um, I'm on the west coast of the US um, and I, I try to stream at like 3 p.m. because I've got friends on the east coast and family on the east coast so if I stream it around that time I'm most likely to have them be able to catch the stream. Um, oh, that would be really cool. I, I would appreciate that, man. I, I know networking with other, uh, like, new streamers and stuff is a good way to get started, so I've uh, encountered a couple people. When I was playing Cuphead, I found uh, somebody came in who plays a lot of Cuphead, too, and those kinds of interactions are really nice. It's It really does seem like there's a, a supportive community who wants to, like, help each other out, which is... um kind of not the experience that I expected. I expected it to be much more like crab buckety, like, hey, we're competing for viewership here. But it doesn't feel like that. Nice, we got another key! I, I love that inside the big worm, there's like a terrified and half-digested, um, like, official bug. Th these are the guys that you find in the palace later on. West Coast is three hours behind East Coast, so... Um, I only know that because, I mean, I grew up uh, on the East Coast and I moved out here not too long ago, so... Like, talking to family and stuff, I always kind of have to calculate, you know? And, like, it's not their fault, but, like, when my family members call me, a lot of the time it, it is super early in the morning uh, for me because it's like, you know... Oh, it's 10 a.m. for me, I'll, I'll just give him a call, and then it's, it's like 7 for me, and I'm like, huh? Oh, hello? Um, you know what's really good for these guys is the, like, shriek, uh, spell that you can use, uh, that goes above your character. Come on. Die already! Oops, wrong one. Oh, I love these little ghost guys, too. I, I was too concerned looking at it that I let it hit me twice, but... Oh yeah, yeah, getting um, getting those first 50 followers is like a pretty important milestone, so I'm glad you were able to get it done pretty fast. Um, yeah, I, good luck, man, I, I hope so. Um, that would be really cool if, if that works out. Um, I'm trying to um, upload some YouTube shorts and stuff and, and cross-posting them to, like, Instagram and, uh, the ghosts are cute, Instagram and TikTok and stuff um, to sort of drive viewership. Yeah, so the, the dream version of this fight is the one I was talking about before. It sucks. This actual boss fight is not too bad. I wonder if you break some of these, does it make the fight easier? I doubt it. All the little goobers go into the vessel. I feel like I fought the harder version of this boss so many times that I'm not that scared of the slightly easier one. But its movement, it does like... It moves in such a way that it's just weird. I don't know. I love the iframes that you get on the downward dash move, it's so good. Oh god, this move I never know how to dodge. Just kinda hope. There we go. Not too bad.
Nice. I'm a little quiet during boss fights, but it's because I'm trying to focus. Oh god. Oh dear. Oops, just firing the spell right at the wall. Come on, I can do it. I've been first trying a lot of the bosses. I would be pretty happy to get this one. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Uh, I didn't. I did. First try the boss, rather. Oh yeah, that, that would be great. I, I would love to network. Um, Yeah, I just, I've been watching streamers and stuff um, that, that do this kind of thing for a long time, and um, it's like, you know what, I feel like I could be good at this. And I, it was hard to muster up the courage to start, but I'm glad I did. I think this must be the path to go, yeah? It only let me go one direction from the boss, so this must be it. Yes! This is the coveted double jump. Lost Kin is, is the, like, special Dream Nail version, right? Yeah. Total asshole. We got the double jump, though. We have, like, all of the movement abilities now. So... I just- I don't have Shade Cloak, is the one? Uh... But I should be able to get basically anywhere in the map now. Which is really cool. Um... It- it's, like, kind of worth it to save up some of the exploration, uh, aspects of the game. Uh, for once you've got all the abilities. And I like how they make it so that, um... Like, it forces you to use the ability and shows you what kind of situations you would need to. Um, like, here. When we walked in this area, we came in from the right. And we didn't have the double jump yet, so we couldn't get up here, but now we can. And there's gonna be some goodies up here. For us. Some ghosties, too. I love the way it feels to pogo off enemies in this game. It's just like... It's just right. They... They tuned so many of the things like that perfectly, so that it just feels so good to do. Are you a real grub or are you a fake grub? You're a real grub. Nice. I think that's all there is to do in this room. We'll just keep moving on. Oh yeah, helps with conversation skills? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that design is really clever, right? I, um... These game devs really knew what they were doing. Now that we've got uh, the double jump, also... Uh, we can now access this, which we couldn't get to before, which is an entire stag station. And, I mean, this is one of the cooler visual areas of the game. You can kind of tell that there used to be something very... Um, very large built here, but it is now crumbled, and there's nothing we can do here now. Um, and even if we had the dream nail, we wouldn't be able to go into that guy's, um, thoughts just yet. From Brazil? I've now spoken to people from Poland, uh, Brazil, let's see, where else? Uh, I spoke to somebody who was in, like, the Congo, I think, watching the stream, which is really cool to just catch people from all over. Um, but yeah, thanks for catching the stream. I really appreciate it. It's been nice to chat. Always like opening new stag stations. It feels very good. Let me see. Where I need to decide where I want to go before I make any big choices here. Did I sit on the bench? I don't know if I did. Oh, there isn't a bench here, is there? Because the nearest bench because they put the bench all the way over on the other side. Now, below this area is the Abyss, which I don't think I can do anything in yet, so... There's stuff in the Mantis Village that you need the double jump to get to. So it might not be a terrible idea to try to do that. Yeah, a, a lot of people are like very self-conscious about their... Um, 
conversation skills. And in my experience, people who um, are like non-native speakers are usually actually better at English and like speaking and conversation and stuff than um, native speakers, which is funny, but you know, you know how it is. Oh, there's that little room to the right of Ancestral Mound that I haven't done too. They do a good job showing you where on the map you haven't gone. I forgot there's a cursor that I can activate, but I haven't done this. I haven't done this. You know this uh, little thing over here? Where is it? Uh, I needed the double, double jump for it, and I have access to that now. I haven't done that. Yeah. Native English spears are sloppy, that's for sure. I, I seriously don't remember the path to the dream nail. Is it like up here? I seem to remember getting, like, teleported there somehow, but I don't remember how that happened. Oh, and then the path to the Watcher Knights is up here, isn't it? I guess we could suffer and go fight some Watcher Knights. That could be funny. Let's do that. And then maybe if I if I either defeat the Watcher Knights or die trying, um, I'll at least have some... I'll at least have, have a good spot to end the stream on. I start saying something and then I start reading chat messages and my brain is just like, what sentence were you saying? I, I don't know, dude. You should have thought about that before you started reading chat. And I'm like, well, it's, you're me. Stop, stop. It's mean. Um, it's not up from this room, is it? I want to say it's like the dark blue room is the watcher's uh, zone. So like, I think it's here, but there is something up here. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I was wondering, uh, Lumeri, what other games do you play? Are you, like, um, sort of focusing on one specific game or a variety streaming sort of content? It seems like, um, the variety streaming kind of stuff is, um, oh yeah, Red vs. Blue. That's the old, like, Halo, um, show, right? I think I've seen some of that. I got stuck in that, picking that thing up animation for a long time. That was scary. I can actually climb up the window here, that's nice. Okay, I think the, the place I wanted to go is up from here. Never did find that gold uh, enemy. That's okay. What is to the left of here? Oh, I think this does take you to the dream now. Not sure though. Keep exploring in here before I take the elevator up. Baba is you. I I think I've heard of that one, but I don't actually really know what it's about at all. Um, if you want to give it like a little pitch, like you did slice and dice, I wouldn't mind. But if you don't feel like typing it out, I I'm not gonna force you. <laughs> I think my favorite game of all time... Oh man, I don't know what my favorite game of all time is. It might be... Elden Ring? It might be Bloodborne? It might be... I don't know. I can't make decisions like that. Ooh, god, that guy spawned right on top of me. The big guy doesn't know what to do if you dance on his head like that, huh? perfect puzzle game. You know what game is incredible like that is Tunic, if you haven't played it. That game, it's like, um, the, the most interesting thing about that game for me was that the, um, you find, you sort of have an in-game manual for the game, uh, and, um, as you progress through the game, you unlock more pages in the manual, and it's not in a language that you can read. It's in, like, some in-game language that you can't like understand and 
but you kind of have to infer from pictures and stuff, and there's puzzles built into the instruction manual itself. Um, and that's just the coolest, like, design for a game that I anyone has ever come up with. And it's not implemented perfectly. I won't... I will not claim that it is perfect in any way. It is just... A really clever idea done pretty decently well. I don't remember where this puts me now, to be honest. Okay, yeah, I think this is... We're getting closer to um, the dream now. I definitely think there's a path to it from where I am. As evidenced by the little uh, icon for the <laughs> moths uh, that's on that page. I'm not going to fight you. It's not worth my time. That seems super interesting from reading that. That's cool. There's another game, uh, like, cool puzzle game that's, like, randomized that I, I've been hearing about recently. Uh, called, like, something about Mona Lisa. Can't do this yet. And this is another good example. Like, this is the area where you get the dream nail and they leave the Markoth fight here. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Um, so this guy betrayed the king. And it was cursed for eternity, and we can come and fight him in a dream, but we're gonna go get the dream nail first. Oh, nice. I forgot about this, too. I can't even access the dreamers until I get this, so it's a good, uh, good thing to do it now. It's like playing the game engine, so you're like changing the rules as you go, moving the rules around. That's so cool. Um, I'll have to check that out. I'm talking over the dialogue, but this is basic game lore. There's three seals that I need to unlock to so that I can do the thing to complete the game. The Watcher Knights are one of the bosses that I have to fight to do it. Oh yeah, here we are, in the dream. Oh, that's Zero, not Markoth. Sorry, my bad. Uh, you mentioned Markoth earlier, and I had it... It was in my head for that reason. You know, me out of here? There we go. It's nice to have the double jump, too, as like an insurance policy in case I fall. I wonder what happens if you fall out of the dream here. I know in a lot of the dream fights where you're uh, dreaming, nailing like an actual... Uh, like character, if you fall out of the sky here, it just, you wake back up, which is pretty funny. But in this first one where I don't even have the dream nail yet, if I fall out, I don't know, it would probably just put me, it, I bet you just take damage and it puts you back at, on the last piece of solid ground you were on. Cut our way away from the dream, that is the goal. Let's do it. I really like the the design of the moths and the way that they interact with the other characters in this game, too. It's very cool. And that the sound their voices are funny too. No? Oh. oh. Let's see what you have to say. Yeah, a nail that can cut through dreams, huh? And we have to get more essence. Oh, I just heard my Roomba start in the other room and scare my dog. Uh-oh. Okay. I actually... He's gonna get really upset. Oh, I, I can't pause the game until I get out of dialogue. Ah, uh, sorry, I'll be right back. Give me one moment. <laughs> Well, 
That was funny. Um, yeah, the, the uh, Roomba doesn't have a great connection to its charging base, and sometimes the it stops charging and it freaks out. It's like, oh no! I better move so I can plug myself in, and then it just makes a bunch of noise and... I think we can just go fight Zero and get 100 Essence, right? There's this cute room uh, here. I don't know if it's this room. Somewhere in here, there's a room that has all of the um, stuff from the... All the Kickstarter uh, backers and stuff. There's, there's like a little ghost dedicated to each backer. I thought that's cute. Uh, it's nice that they did that. Oh yeah, and we see the Watcher icons are now um, appearing on our uh, map, which is very nice. Hera's all the way over there in Deep Nest. It looks like we missed Corner for here, so we are going to have to um, go purchase the map for this area in Dirtmouth. I think that's what this says, right? Oh yeah, if you want to send me that clip, I'd, I'd definitely check it out. Wait, I, I opened this and then read most of it? Yes, dirt mouse. Okay, we'll do Cornifer. And then I can come back here and we can uh, fight Zero real quick. Oh, and I said I was going to try to fight the Watcher Knights. You know, I, I, I guess I'll still have that be the goal for the stream. Just to try to fight the Watcher Knights. We'll see how successful I am. Um, yeah, the map, that's what I want. <sighs> the resting grounds. Uh, see, if you asked me what that area is called, I would not have been able to tell you. Take the root pin, and I will take... Oh, I can't... I just don't have enough for that. Oh, it makes, it makes a nail <sighs> noise. Bafanada. When you try to buy something you can't afford, it makes the same noise that your nail would make. But it's, it, it almost sounds like an earlier version of it from, like, oh. early in the game's development. That's funny. I never noticed that before. I love... I I was sort of like an armchair game developer myself, so I, I love those little um, aspects uh, of game dev that you wouldn't normally think about. It's like the sound that plays when you try to purchase something that you can't afford. This is not the station I meant to go to. I wanted to go to the resting grounds. I guess we get to see this cute little animation again of our character riding the stag. So bad. It, that, that loading screen is definitely much shorter than the one I remember uh, on the PlayStation as well. I guess I, I was playing this on the PS4, so that makes sense that my computer is more powerful. I bet... You can... Yeah, this is the one. I can dash down through that thing as well. But I think that's like a whole thing, so I want to fight Zero first. So we came through this area, and then to the left of this, there was a little pedestal in the next room. Or I guess you could call it a monument, and here we've got this guy. Let's see what you have to say. Rest here until time itself sleeps. That's a pretty poetic. Yeah, well, when you awoke, you were dead. <laughs> Let's challenge the warrior dream. This boss is not so hard. Um, I think this is one of them that gets much harder uh, if you fight, like, the Pantheon version. Damn. I definitely deserve to die to a boss that I said was not that hard, though. We had a funny moment in the Cuphead stream where I was like, Oh, I would be surprised! If I didn't first try Calamaria, and then the queue like five attempts later and I still haven't fought Calamaria, I was fighting her for 15 minutes. I was like, dude, what was I saying? Okay, bad heal. Oh, narrowly avoided getting hit there after that heal. Now that you've got all four of these, it'll be a little harder.
I don't want to just hit the boss as much as I can. Wasting time healing is just going to get me hit more. Oh, I don't want to have to, though. I am dead? No. Let's see, can I live? Uh-oh, okay. Any more heals is dumb. I, he had one hit left. I spent all that time. Nice, that link will stay in the chat log as well so I can catch it from the VOD. Thank you for that. The big message did show up. Oh, wow. And we get to free this guy. And we get, I think, what is it, 100 essence? Beautiful. And here, I didn't actually show what happens when you trigger the dream now. It takes a little bit, but then we sort of cut this open. And, and there are lots of ghosts you can listen to. When you dream nail enemies, it gives you a bunch of soul. And um, you can kind of hear their, their inner thoughts as well, which is nice. It's a fun little addition. I did receive the big text, yes. Oh, and I don't have the soul to do that. That's fine. That jump just feels so good once you get used to it. I guess I'll dream nail this too. So that's what these uh, roots do. They put essence around and then I collect it all. And as you do more dream fights and roots and stuff and collect all the essence, you unlock more stuff. Uh, there's eventually a, a way to teleport around the map using essence. Um, Oh, and there was that little soul statue too, so I can pretty easily access the thing at the bottom as well. Do I have to go up and look at the tree again, or...? Yeah, and now I think there's lore. Nice. Dead remembered. Penitent moth. Dreams revered. I like the word penitent. I, I mean... I don't know. In theory, it sounds cool. It's a cool sounding word. It's often like tied to religion, I guess, but it's a cool sounding word. I don't know. I remember hearing that word first in uh, Indiana Jones 3. If I remember correctly, these enemies in this little area hit you for two masks of damage. They are kind of bastards, yeah. Yeah, if I let that guy hit me, I would have been in for a... Uh, essence with birds. Oh man, essence farming is... Yeah, that's not something I would recommend attempting in this game, that's for sure. Oh god. You make this room kind of mean, huh? We get a grub for our trouble, though. I think there's more to this little area, if I remember correctly. Just money? Okay, sure. 150 geo is not insignificant. Is this anything? This, is, this was the way down. And then if I go to the left, there's... Definitely another explosive enemy somewhere. I can hear you waiting to ruin my day. Oh, they're above me. We're underneath the King Station. That's really cool. I love how you can hear that. And then this is the path off to the right here. Nice. I like the way they designed this zone. Yeah, so I think if I had... When I got the Crystal Dash here, I think what you're intended to do is to come this way. And then that's the path that you end up in, in the resting grounds from. So I forgot to do that. That would have been the, the better way to come through this area. But I better, um, go and return the uh, essence to the seer, and we'll see what we get. And then I, uh, yeah, I will actually go and, and try the Watcher Knights. I guess I got a little bit more health. Oops. Yeah, I saw a, a clip from, there was a streamer who did, like, 
No, um... No dream fights, no spirit roots, only essence farming to get the essence that you need to beat the game. And it took like 30 hours or something of just farming essence. I love how there's multiple ways to do most things. Is this a secret? I think it is. Cool. Oh, dream shield. I didn't know that's just, this just was here. I thought this was much harder to get to. That's cool. This charm uh, puts a little shield around you um, that you can damage enemies with and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, if you like that, I would recommend checking out Dark Souls 1. But I wouldn't go into that game blind. You, um, It's definitely not worth doing. But, um, yeah, we're going to see here what we get. Uh, very funny. Sure, we'll get 200 and come back. And it's just a hollowness seal that we can sell. Okay. Not the most worthwhile, but sure. Let's see. I guess the best way to go back down is just back through the elevator, huh? Although it looks like there is a path that I didn't go right here. So let's do that first, actually. Markov shield. Yeah, 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 exactly. So there is another dream fight uh, called Markoth that we did not fight today that uh, is similar, and he has a shield. Just like the charm that we just got. What is this way? I don't remember. Oh, this is the, the lake. Blue lake. So when I said um, in the city zone, I said it, it rains for a very specific reason. That's because there's a lake above it. Uh, if we look on the map, we're right above the city zone right now, and this is the lake that I was talking about. There's this big blue lake. And we get to see Tiso again. I like his voice a lot. So peaceful, so dull. This guy just craves violence, and oh, it's pretty funny what happens to him in the end, but... I don't think I can get there from here. I think I, yeah, I have to go all the way back to the left. And just all of the movement abilities and stuff that you get. God, is Markoth Kingdom's Edge? That that sounds right. Um, is, is that the Kingdom's Edge? It could be Kingdom's Edge and it could also be the area right at the start of the game when you go back into it. But I don't think so. I, th I think it's like Elder Who or something is there. I don't remember. Now, Elder Who might be. Ah, dude, I don't know. Was that all that this was? It was just a an egg? I thought this there was more here than that. I guess not. Maybe is there a path to the left? Yeah. Where does this take us? Oh, back to the crossroads, but uh, we get to see the crossroads actually changed. It's infected now. Can we afford anything from you? I can't afford the charm notch. Yeah, that's what I was saying about the, the rain in the city comes from the lake. I don't know if I articulated it super well, but that's what I was trying to communicate. Nice. I forgot that uh, that was there. And we can access that again. Now that we're in Forgotten Crossroads, though, or Infected Crossroads, the enemies get harder, as you can see. And um, we have to take different pathing through the area. Some of the paths get blocked off. Oh god, those enemies will always throw me. The ones that just explode. Where am I? Okay, I can just make it to the stag station, I think. So that one somehow didn't manage to get infected. 
study station here? Yes. Oh, but you can't go that way, right? I would have to go around from one of the other paths if I wanted to go this way. So I guess I'll do that. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I mean, I, I don't think it's a theory so much as that's just like what they wanted you to pick up about that from the hints they give you in the game, you know? Is this the way? No. I don't feel like fighting these enemies, so we're gonna skip them. Because I, I do want to fight the Watcher Knights, and that could require some pretty consistent effort. Nope, wrong room. I Dude, I'm so bad at navigating these areas. Okay. Made it back to the Stag Station, nice and safe. And we'll head to King Station so that we can uh, fight the Watcher Knights. I'm kind of glad that I didn't attempt to do this before I got the Dream Nail, because um, you can't even, like, activate the Watcher and progress the game after defeating the Knights. You just fight the Watcher Knights and then you have to go back and get the Dream Nail before you can come back. But we did confirm that it is um, this entrance, because I knew it was one of these two, and it's not that one, so, oops. Uh, I mean, it might be this, but I don't think it's that either. I think that's just like a little secret. Yeah, I don't want to fight you. It just takes too long. Once I get the nail upgrades, it's worth fighting these guys, but for now it's just not. Yeah, I had seen that before. Sorry, I don't know if I didn't answer you. Oh, I, this is not where I wanted to go at all. What am I doing? Okay, left up. Even the Watcher Knights are, are designed in a really clever way that I like. Um, there's a way to um, kill one of them before the fight starts so that you can um, make it a little easier, which is a cute little secret. Um, but it does also mean that if you're going into the game completely blind, you might just miss it and fight a harder version of the fight than you need to. So that's a little unfortunate, but... I can't remember where this, the upward spell is. The, like, shriek spell? Abyss shriek is the upgrade, but what is it called? I like the clash mechanic, too, in this game. It's designed well. You can clash with a lot of Nightmare King Grimm's moves, which is really cool. That's one of the bosses I'm looking forward to uh, encountering in this game. Oh, do I have to kill you? I think I do. That's lame. I want to kill that one first. Oh god. Okay, you keep walking that way. Being so quiet, because these enemies are just hard. I'm, I'm beginning to realize I don't need to fill airtime like 100% of the time, especially if I'm doing something kind of interesting on screen. It's not like a complete nece necessity, but it does feel like it. And like, I don't know, I think about it, there are very popular streamers that I watch sometimes that suck at uh, avoiding dead air. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Hassan. Like his, um, he has like so much dead air on stream just all the time. And that gets a little annoying to watch, but God, it really does take so many hits to get those enemies before you get your nail upgrades in. I always forget you can like accidentally waste soul if you stop pressing the heal button midway through healing.
Nice. Go up from here. Then I wanted to go up. Maybe it's further to the left first or something, I don't know. I thought that's the way I came in. Oh, that's weird. I don't think there's another thing that I have to do to come here, right? Oh, maybe I just didn't find this path yet. This looks promising. Can I hit you through the floor? I can. What are you gonna do about it? He just stood there and took it. Um, I don't remember where the ore is that I need to uh, upgrade the nail either. Uh, I know there's one from the Colosseum, so I guess I could go fight some of the Colosseums too. There's so much stuff to do in this game. It's, it's very hard to like make decisions. I like the little portraits in the background too. It's a very nice touch. Um, adding detail to the environment. Yeah, yeah, if I, um, it's like a comedy special. You don't want it to be like a comedy special where, like, you just, you tell a joke and then you don't give the audience any time to react. You suck, dude. This should just be an area that we've been in before, but I was gonna say I don't know if I need to unlock a gate, and you do. Very nice. from here should be up this elevator, I think. If I am remembering right. I don't know if it's left or right, though. Yeah, here we are. This is the Watcher Knight fight. Um, I don't remember where the thing is. Oh, I heard telltale sound of... Breaking. Yeah, so if you go up here and you cut this, we just dropped a chandelier on one of the Watcher Knights, and now you can see the second one is just a shell. We don't actually have to fight that one. I think there's. Yeah, I'll do the other stuff in this area before I actually approach the boss. If I go to the right here, I think we can get this grub. Is there another, like, room encounter here? There we go. I think this is, like, the correct way to fight these guys, right? Gives you the best damage. Just bounce on them the whole time. They do swing forward eventually, but... Or sw swing upward eventually, rather. But now that I have the double jump, I should be trying to utilize that, too. And it keeps swinging at me? <laughs> it's kind of dumb. And we do get the grub. Very nice. I don't think there's a shortcut through here, though. So I think I do have to go back around. Yeah. Yeah, Watcher Knight and Watcher Knight and Watcher Knight and Watcher Knight. <laughs> That's certainly what we're gonna do. Ready for the Watcher fight. Yeah, even with the one down, it's very tough. I would be incredibly surprised if I first tried this boss. Um, luckily, you don't have to fight all of them at once, but... Um, you know what I don't have is any of the nail arts. This was the fight that I really learned how to use the spells on, I feel like. Because you just get so much more value off the spells, because you're kind of hitting both of them at once a lot of the time. 
Yeah, as soon as there are two of them out, it gets really dicey. I can try to heal a little bit here. Ah! <laughs> okay, one is down. Oh, yeah, see, that was a dumb heal. The A big part of the learning curve of this game is learning when to... What? Why did you spin and then stop? That was weird. You gotta learn when you have time to heal and when you don't. Um, because if you heal when you don't have time to, that's dumb. You'll get hit f for it. Ugh. God, this is a bad spot to be in. Taking a lot of damage, but... Like, doing okay, I guess? Oh god. That was a really weird bounce trajectory for that guy. Come on, one of you die already. Whoa. Doing weird stuff. Oh, I wasn't expecting a bounce. I thought he was going to go straight there. Come on. He stopped spinning! <laughs> that was so scary! Don't fake me out like that. What? Use that soul before you lose that soul. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I can smell it. <laughs> yep! That was bad. Oh, I killed one of them. Quick heal. Oh, that was super dodgy. I, just, I tried to escape, but... Well... That, that's the Watcher Knights. <laughs> I, I, I said I was surprised if I did it on the first try. It's very, very hard, but... The path back to get there, again, is not too bad. Oh, I have to call the elevator though, don't I? Will that just crush you? Oh my god, brutal. It is just right here, isn't it? Yeah. I can get away with not calling this elevator, though. Do I have to fight you in the boss room? That's a little lame. I guess the boss doesn't activate yet, so it's fine. Can I get, like, a cheeky dream nail off on you while you're doing your thing? I can. Nice. Okay, so a lot of the time that I got hit the last time, it was from, um, just foolishly standing there while it did its, like, swing forward ability. And it's important to keep track of which one is low as well. It's hard to do though. Oh! Heal. No, that was dumb. Oh, and I got hit again for it too, huh? It's really hard when they do different moves when one of them, like, bounces and the other one doesn't. I, I always end up doing, um, better the first try. I'll give it a good, like, five tries this stream, um, but I wouldn't be terribly upset if Watcher Knights gets relegated to the next stream. I don't know, I, I've done two hours and twenty minutes today and it, it, I'm still feeling pretty good. Maybe, maybe we'll go for a bit longer. Can I? I don't think you can get crushed by the elevator, though. The game does you that one kindness. Um, the enemies can get crushed, but you can't. It's, it's funny. Usually, when that stuff affects enemies, it affects you too. But this is one of the few games where that's not the case. Yeah. Can I get um, Dream Nail off any of them? I can. 
Defend seal, huh? So the fight doesn't actually activate until um, I walk over here and the door shuts. So... There is a way to tell which one's at low health. I don't remember what it is, though. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be pogoing on them when they bounce up, that's for sure. Damn. Okay, come on. Get, get it together. That fake out, dude. That's not fair. That confuses me every time. I would like to heal up a little bit at some point. Oh. <gasps> Stop faking me out like that. It's mean. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, you really don't like to have them on either side of you. Damn. I think I, d I did better the first time than I have yet since. Oh, I can do this though. I know I can. It's actually not. It's not that bad. It's just managing. I really want to try to keep them both on one side of me. That's my goal. This attempt. Hey, you hit me the last time, too. I don't like that. Don't do that. Which other boss has Washer Knight's theme? Oh. Let me listen to it when I get in there, and I might be able to tell you. I'll try to actually give it a listen. I will fill up all of my soul with this, I don't care. It might be a little cheesy, but it works. Um. And then, oh, you know what I'm, I'm severely underutilizing is the downward spell. See how many iframes you get? That thing is just good. I think it does more damage than the regular spell, too. Killed one of them already. Oh god, what? That freaked me out. The one backed up and the other came in. Oh, and when they... Like, stagger the timing, it's hard, too. This boss is just hard. Very narrowly a dodge getting hit. That was both of them. I didn't realize that. You guys are real rude. I'll go for two heals. That was probably a little sketchy, but I'm glad I did it. One more. Nice. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, too. Come on. These bosses are like... I swear, they're like harder than some of the bosses in Elden Ring, dude. What are you doing? Nice. Okay, I didn't think they were gonna die like at the same time like that. No, why did you do that right at the start? Nice, good opportunity to heal. Please live, come on. Oh, I, I dodged the wrong way. Yes, thank you for going low, that was good. Now. Nice. Oh god. Come on, I can do this. There's only two of them left. Wait, 
when you guys stagger it like that. Die! Oh, oh god. <laughs> be infected in ancient basin? It could be, it might be like Nosk or something. I don't know. I was really close that time. I, I can definitely do it this stream. I just gotta really focus. There's another one of you over here. You suck. <laughs> okay. All going is good, but I keep having them bounce uh, right when I want to pogo them. I'm very thankful that they give you time to fight the shade and collect all this soul. It is nice. Okay. You're the first one. So I'll try to trigger you to do a swing. No. You know, I, I said I need to use the downward dash, and then I forgot, um, every time, as soon as the, there were two enemies there, I forgot to actually do it. me. What? It is really hard to keep track since they can like fake you out like that. I need to remember I have the double jump too. Oh, of course you had to roll just then. Heal. Ooh. That was scary. Nice. Take a heal here. Good. I'm doing a little better at um, figuring out when I want to be doing the heals. That was a, just a rough spot to dodge from. Getting a little greedy with the spells. Okay, you guys suck. Why do you stagger it like that? That's just rude. Oh, yep, there is one more. Heal? Okay. Think of- what? Why did you bounce so far that time? What was that? Oh, man. Sometimes I swear it's just, like, nearly impossible to dodge the combination of the moves that they do. Thing. Oh my god. Oh, and they listened. Oh. So, I'm so close. I, I can feel it. It's within my grasp. My heart rate is going. Oh, this is a track called Nosk in the OST. That makes sense. Yeah, so it's not him. Hmm. That's one of those pieces of trivia that I just, I don't know. I try to pay attention to soundtrack and stuff when I play games, because it's it's like so very clearly one of the elements of the game that that really makes it shine. Um But little details like that it can be really hard to pick up on, like when they reuse songs and stuff. I, I they know they do clever stuff like that in like Dark Souls 3. Like they hint at like bosses that are the same, or I guess Elden Ring. Like they use the same music for Margit and uh, Morgot. Which I mean, in case you uh, didn't know Margit and Morgoth were the same guy. Like, it's the worst. And they, they did the same thing with, um, Ronnie and Rena. Like, that's the worst, um, like, fake name you could have come up with. It's literally just your real name with slightly different lettering. Close again. 
nice. First one dead. Doing a pretty good job keeping my health here, too. Oh, you fake little bitch. I hate that. Oh god. How did I not take damage? The, the downward, the descending spell, whatever it's called, is really strong. Oh, and I like dashed so that my iframes were done there. Oh, I'm completely screwing it. Yep. Damn, I was doing so well at the start of this fight, and then I just completely, like, ruined it. What was that? Yeah, I will kill them much faster. Risking too much, I should heal more. You're right. Yeah, the downward spell is kind of nutty. Um, I don't know where the upgrade for it is either. Do not remember. The only upgrade that I know where it is, is the spell that I don't currently have, which is funny. I know it's like, uh, down in the abyss. Should probably not be using, uh, the basic spell at all. You know, another weird choice, as much as I like this game, they made some weird choices. Why is there one button to do spells, and then another button to do spells that is just better? Like, that's weird and dumb. Like, the, the spell comes out an earlier frame if you use the shoulder button. Why? What? Like... I don't know what they were thinking. Okay. Being too aggressive? Trying to go in for a hit and then just eating it to that there. Oh, you guys. Staggering the moves, man. Oh! Making me out, too. Okay, come on. That's a good time for a heal. No, it's not. Okay. It's like, as soon as you fall behind in this fight, you're screwed. Like, just the, the mental damage that it does to me when they fake me out, dude. Oh, the key from Sly for the Soul Sanctum? Upgrade? Sweet. Yeah, that, that shouldn't be too hard to get to. But I... I know that with my current, like, items and stuff, I can definitely do this fight. Um, I just, I need to get my stuff together. I've made it to the last guy. Oh, that's the wrong way, I don't know what I'm doing. Pogoing only one time. Pogo two times is safer. Okay, I'm not sure I know what you mean, but I'll try, I'll try to implement that advice. Um, damn, I get hit to that like a lot when they swing. kill you before your friend comes in and then heal up good. That's what I wanted. Damn, I shouldn't have jumped. The fake out, man. Okay, heal. That was a little risky, but it worked. That 
when they roll backwards, it seriously, like, mind freaks me, too. Right, and I want to be using the... I'm also super not utilizing the double jump as much as I should be. Okay, well, I killed your friend. And I killed you. That gives me a little time to heal. Okay, that was probably worth it for the damage that I was able to do. Are these the last two lads? I feel like I can do it this time. Just have to not get messed with. You're gonna bounce, I can tell. Come on, just do it. We oh, didn't bounce. Okay. Now heal. One, two, good. Okay, I got this. I like that it hits them even when they're invulnerable there. Being so quiet, I need to just win. Alright. I, I do fall straight into the second attack after they charge the wall. That's true. Well, I appreciate the advice. It definitely helped me get through. Watcher Knight's done. What was that, like five, six attempts? Something in that range? I, at this point, have a whole bunch of stuff that I can sell. I love the aesthetic of this area as well, all the way up in the air. Oh, and we can use the dream, dream Nail to see what these guys are thinking. Let's go, indeed. That was... That fight is fun. As hard as it is, and as much as I complained while I was fighting them, like, I had fun doing it, so... It's just a good time. I know there's a secret behind some of these little things, so... Let's... Which one of you has a secret? Huh? Is it you? Yes! Sleep beckons eternal, and these words become my last. Through... Though my gaze shall no longer fall upon the city, I will act forever in its protection. I think that's the Watcher uh, saying that. That would make sense, considering we're in the Watcher's tower. Oh. I have to call the elevator all the way back. Lorian, now over. Yeah, yeah. The Watcher Knights was one of the bosses I was most stressed about fighting in this game. So, not too bad. I might be able to activate Grimm soon. That would be worth doing. And I... I'll stream all... I think I'll look into where the, like, nail upgrades and stuff are, and I might collect some of that stuff off-stream. Because I, I realized, like, part of the motivation for starting streaming is, like, man, I play a lot of video games. It would be good to, like, spend some of that time that I'm playing video games doing something productive. But, um... The thing about that is, like, I need to... All of the time that I play games shouldn't be on stream. Like, I need to be able to enjoy games quietly off stream and not talk and, like, you know. I guess I should have inspected it before I just dream nailed it, but here we are. I like the horns in the background. It's very, very cute and well designed. Can I dream nail you now? He's letting us hit him for the king. I remember getting here and thinking this was going to be such a scary boss. I was like, oh no. This is like a big, like, this is a named character. And then all it is is just... Just hit it. That's it. This animation is nice, too. The seal breaks. The telescope view is really nice, isn't it? There's so much... So many things that are done well in this game. And that's one-third of the main, uh... 
the seals that we need to break uh, to defeat the main game. So, very nice. We have a whole bunch of cash too. I should probably go back to Dirtmouth now. I think I found all the secrety stuff that's here. It was just like lore anyway. So. I guess we'll just go down. Yeah, the dreamer parts are done super well. That's that's one of the one of my favorite um, aspects of this game for sure. They just they nailed it, man. Yeah, and that that was Watcher Knights. I struggled that much even after uh, breaking one of the one of them with the candelabra at the start. Or candelabra, that's not the right word. Chandelier. Saying, man. We're going this way. Yes, and this is, I think, path that I want to go. I guess now that I've done the Watcher Nights, I need to decide what I want to do next. Not good at making decisions. You know, actually, on this elevator, let's do a Coliseum. That would be a good way to end it out, actually. Um, just the first Coliseum. I think you get some pretty good rewards for that, including, um, like, ore that I need to upgrade the nail, so... Oops. That was kind of dumb. And I, I like the Coliseum, so... They dream nailed it. That's... Dude, the puns are, are going crazy today. I appreciate it. I guess I could sell some of the uh, items on the way. I've never seen this. Oh, come find it. Oh no, you know what? I've, I've seen this in a lore video, but I haven't actually seen this myself. That guy goes out and then he, you can actually see him outside his shop. Very nice. I bet this only happens after you get the dream now so that you can see what he's thinking as well. Let's see. Elma Delker. <laughs> Funny fake words. Oh yeah, there's just one part of the song that only plays in a corridor. That's funny. And and it's the best part. You know, it, if, if I were the game devs, I would do that. That would be fun. Let's see what you're thinking. He's wondering about the Hollow Knight, huh? Yeah. Because they struck it from the record, that's why there's no mention. Okay, what? Self, where I'm going again? Ah, to the right. I like that little event that we got to see, that was fun. I like rare stuff like that in this game. There's also, do you know about Menderbug, uh, Lumeri? Uh, there's this cool little bug that appears at the bottom of the well, the start of the game, like once every 1500 times or something, and you, you can, um, like, you just happen to see him sometimes. Ah, uh, you know, I really don't feel like fighting you. I was like, I'll do it this time. No, I won't. I think the path to the Colosseum is, like, halfway up the elevator shaft. Which is a little funny and weird. Yeah, I don't want to die to a stupid basic enemy here. That would be dumb. Oh, are you? I can just hit through the ceiling. Um... I always like stuff like that, when you can cheese an enemy through a wall. May as well do it, right? Because if the enemies could cheese you through the walls, they would. Um, I especially feel that way about like Elden Ring and stuff. Mm -hmm. you know. 
Like, the game is bullshit already, so, like, you may as well bullshit it back, huh? seem to find the path that I'm trying to go on. Oh, Made good progress today. I don't know how many more streams I'll need to finish playing this game, but not too many, I don't think. I feel like I, I could be um, convinced to stream for a little longer. Yeah. Cheese or to be cheesed, exactly, right? Oh, I forgot to, like, do the thing. The whole point is it's halfway up the elevator shaft. I have to actually climb. I like the way you can see um, all the wooden supports and stuff here that are quite characteristic of the um, Kingdom's Edge. Feels good to not take damage to any of them. Wait, is this an... Oh, I have to come from the other side. I can... You can just barely see just to the right here. There's a little wooden thing that we need to access from the other side. So this is only a one-way oh, access. Shit, I can't do this today. I wanted to do the Colosseum. I guess to get to the Colosseum, I'll have to do a whole bunch more work. Uh, I don't know that I want to do that, actually. Hmm. Where to go? Where to go? Maybe I will call it here, then. Um, considering I couldn't do the thing that I wanted to do. To get to the Colosseum the other way, I think I have to... I think you need, like, Yzma's Tear to get through uh, Kingdom's Edge to get to the top. Yeah, the, uh, the third Colosseum I remember being a real struggle, but it was very satisfying when I did it, finally. Um, let's just get back to Benchy sort of area, and we can call it. It's like you... As you play this game, you kind of get used to some of the paths that you can go, and then you don't realize, like, oh, this path was actually blocked the first time. Whoops. Yeah. Let's look at the map that we just revealed. Nice. Oh, and that actually showed us the Colosseum. Just because we peeked into this room, that was enough to show us that the Colosseum is here. That's pretty funny. But I don't think we can go up in Kingdom's Edge until I have Yzma's Tear. And I know that's in the sewers, but I don't really remember where, and I don't want to putz around in the sewers for a while. So we're going to call it here for the stream for today, but that's, um... Two hours and 52 minutes, uh, which which is pretty perfect. Thanks for catching the stream, Lumeri, and I imagine you're the follower that I gained today. Um, I'll go check your channel out in the meantime, but thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, and you have a good one.